Lesson 5. Use the distributive property. Well, we're going to solve some problems that involve equations with brackets. And the way to do that is to use the distributive property. So what I'd like to do is just quickly draw your attention over to here where I have a bag with an apple and a banana in it. And what I'm going to do is triple the amount that I have. I want to have three bags of apples with an apple and a banana and, and ask the question, how many do I have all together? And show you what can go wrong. Now, I can represent this as three times my apple, um, which I'm just going to keep visual here for now, and a banana. Uh, the banana, my best banana I can draw at high speed. And this is how we symbolize it. This means times here, and we will use a distributive property to see how many there are. Now, I hope you can see that the answer is there's three apples and there's three bananas. And um, how fast can I draw that? There we go. Very quickly drawn banana. So what you say? Well, look what I did wrong. I made the classic mistake. I forgot the three. Oh, I was yakking away talking to you and I forgot it all together. Well, I mention it because it happens all the time. The answer is three bananas. It's as if I forgot to put three bananas because the three was further away from it in the bag. I don't know why, but it happens all the time. The distributive property is going to be used. Well, let's look at A here. I have to solve this equation and I'm going to multiply A times I'm going to multiply 3 times 4x, and then I'm going to multiply it by 2, just like I did with the apple and the banana. 3 times 4x is 12x. 3 used again times 2 is 6. Now my brackets are gone, and I have a much simpler looking equation, which I will solve using the techniques that we've already been working with for some time. 12x is equal to 24. So it must be that x is equal to 2. And that's the answer using the distributive property. Well, let's try it again. Now, let me really emphasize that this negative 2 needs to be used twice, once for the apple and once for the banana, so to speak. Well, Negative 2 times positive 3x is negative 6x. Now, danger, danger, this negative 2 has to be multiplied by negative 5. And negative 2 times negative 5 is positive 10. Easy to miss. It's a little simpler on the right. Ne uh, positive 5 times negative x is negative 10x. And positive 5 times Positive 2 is, once again, plus 10. This is a much simpler equation. I am going to simplify it by subtracting 10 from both sides. And I'm going to add 10x to both sides using techniques we learned earlier. And let's see what we get. On the left, negative 6x and 10x is positive 4x. Zero, that was the plan all along. Another zero, like we planned. And positive 10 and negative 10 actually just works out to zero. Four times a number is zero. What's the number? Well, the number is zero. x is equal to zero in this case. I would like you to practice this a few times and see how it goes for you. Thanks very much.